Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I don't know if I really recorded yesterday, but it's been a lot going on, and I'm recording today because I'm not going to let what's going on in my life stop me again, over and over again, and have the same results. So, this is me still vlogging for the week. I had made me a good and balanced breakfast. I have avocado toast, turkey bacon, and two um, two bo two fried eggs on the way. We will be moving soon. I'm just gonna drop it now here. Like I might as well just tell you all the tea. So, nonetheless, we won't be in this apartment very much longer. I need to leave ASAP. Um, so I will be having every day of me packing and stuff like that of that nature. Um, but also trying to still work out, still do, do everything I want to do, um, and keeping my mental health together. Working out is really helping me. And so it's just movement in general, cause I'm dancing again, stuff like that, trying to build a new community and it's happening, you know, um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this agency I have, and I'm going to speak that. Our next destination will be the right one and it'll be aligned and we'll be all right. Let me show you my food. I put some red peppers in my avocado toast and some red onions. Yes. Like, it's giving. It's giving. The two Fridays gonna go right here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Again, I'm trying to be consistent. Um, yesterday was a little rough. Uh, it went well, as you can see, with poll and everything else. Um, I don't put up too much in here with that. If you want to follow my poll journey, um, definitely pay for a membership here on the channel and the, you can see the exclusive poll videos. But after that, it was just, Energetically, I didn't have much energy and I went to, but I did treat myself to something that is self-healing. I got smaller needles and smaller yarn because I am a beginner. However, I can say even with my first set, I did make this. I just wasn't able to close it off right. So I just tied it in the back, but I guess a headband of some sort, but I am proud that I did do something. And yeah, so we're gonna figure out this Wednesday. I did start this morning off a little rough as well, but all is released and all is well, and I am grateful and I love my mommy and the people closest to me right now um, for reminding me that I have grown a lot and that I am doing well with respecting others, but still respecting myself first, so. That's the positive vibes we be creating, yeah. Sounds that make you feel like we keep it blazing, yeah. Editing used to be my favorite thing to do in college. In some sense, I feel like the oversaturation of being a content creator pressures me to fall out with the whole process of all of this. But I'm glad that I'm pushing past it to try to find it again. I don't like what life is all about and, and loving anything or anyone. All right, y'all, so I'm horrible because we did not do any packing today. But we start again tomorrow after work, like in between, yeah, after work, because I don't know if I'm going to this thing. But we did get our package. So I was supposed to get this package last year. 
during Christmas time when my boss ordered it for me, but I never ordered my gift for myself. So I ended up finally choosing something that I thought would be useful for me because I struggle with wrinkled clothes. And I don't want to iron nothing. And now that I'm moving, is there really a point to get one at the moment? No. So I had $50 to use. And so I did. And I got, drum roll please. Voila, steam and go. The sad thing one of them is going say. Y'all, but I'm really excited for this because I be just doing the old fashioned steam by putting my stuff in the shower. But now, no matter where I go, I'll be able to steam. Nothing can come in between me and steam. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, and yeah, I've kind of been in and out of vlogging because it's the monthly, honestly, and my emotions are everywhere. But the good news is, is that I'm still eyes on the prize, making decisions and doing what I gotta do. Okay, so I wasn't everyday consistent in the gym, but I was getting in there, okay? I was making the way, and you know what I'm focusing on. <laughs> but then the next day, I had an impromptu day where I didn't have a phone all day, which was very interesting. I was anxious a lot, but also very grateful to have time to just, like, be connected to anything. I highly recommend it. And then I had Panchero, and it was good, and it ended up being good. My place looks a bit chaotic right now, but if you don't know, I'm moving, so. But I'm also still living, and it is a night we're going out. So I was like, I can still do to get ready with me. So I been, for like a year, I guess going through the process of healing from being on like an autopilot, from, or not, even not even just the autopilot, just having an autopilot and just having a lot of things happen um, that weren't things I predicted and then reacting the best way I knew how, which was to like, you know, have these moments of fun or whatever it is. And a lot of times, even when I did my finances today, because I had to look through some stuff for it, um, for personal reasons I realized that I was just going through emotions and it wasn't as long as I thought it was it was more so just the amount and the timing like it really showed how timing is everything and how like when things happen unfortunately at certain times when you're not expecting it multiple things at once you can literally still be functioning and still seem like and think that you're doing everything, buying food, doing whatever, and you're literally drowning. Like, that's the proof it showed, for sure. So yeah, so you find yourself in that predicament, and that's, I guess, where I was. But even last year, I thought, okay, I'm farther off. This is me trying to use the scum of this one because I can't. My other one is in the car, and I'm not going to the car. And no, this is not really... A get ready with me so you can focus on makeup routine. This is a get ready with me so we can catch up. We just chatting. So yeah, so I caught myself thinking that I was healed, or, or not even necessarily healed, but more so ready to talk about what I was going through last year. Probably around in 2023, I played a clip. I have really been evolving and dealing with a lot, and. I feel like as someone who is experiencing this post pandemic and at a later age in life for the first time of really understanding what's going on, because I also recognize that I have experienced things similar to this, just never as extreme, that we should just talk about it. And I really wasn't. 
Like, I was still figuring it out, still kind of going and sifting through everything, but not just, I just didn't know that. Um, but I kept saying to myself, like, I knew I wanted to come back to this. Literally, I was just doing everything all at once, and it was just a lot, and I wasn't realizing it. So I wasn't able to talk about this. But, like, now I'm in such, I won't say the best space, but in a better space that I feel like we could visit it, you know? I feel like we can visit it. We could talk about some things. We can catch up a little bit. So... All the good times that you do see here on the channel were definitely good times, okay? One thing I realized by myself, I could live in the moment and truly, truly, truly um, enjoy myself, okay? That is something I can do. Ooh, I was dumping footage. And I'm so grateful that I can. However, it's a good way to also distract myself and to just get by, and I noticed that. So it was a lot of that going on. Um, it was a lot of also me trying to, I've been in this like spiritual, mental evolution as well and the whole sector of everything. And when it comes to my friendships, I'm constantly reevaluating and kind of having losses in grief. And it's not like on no like harsh stuff. It's kind of just on some like realizing like you have to get to a point where you see that where actions speak louder than words. And you have to be okay with it. And I realized to a certain extent that I do have a complex of, like, I'll let something go, but I'll still be attached to it. I'm doing so much better at that, though. But I didn't realize it that much until all of this stuff happening all at once. And I no longer can. I feel like I'm supposed to put on this one. And I feel like I just put on my side color. Awkward. I don't recall. We just gonna mix them together. But no, I feel like you got to get to a point where you realize what is what and that you need to just probably detach from some things. And I feel like I got to a point where that's what I needed to actually be able to do what I'm doing now. I needed to detach. I needed to realize that just because it's a bunch of losses all at the same time doesn't mean that that's not what, you know, you're asking for. Remember what you pray for. You can't ask for things to align. You can't ask for better and then be mad. Like, I realized in real life, real time. So it's like this balance that you have to have to come to. And I feel like that was my moment of clarity. That was kind of where I'm at. That's kind of where I am now. My situation can be looked at as horrible at the moment. I'm not going to tell you all that tea because it's really none of your business. But in reality, it's a fresh start in some ways in a lot of ways i'm gonna miss this apartment a lot don't get me wrong but there's so many memories in here of things that i'm just no longer like i'm no longer those that person i'm no longer in that space of confusion harm like i was just in a really like i can i know how to you know subside what's going on in my head and things for the moment so that I can move forward. And I feel like I was doing that a lot. And now I'm at a point where I can identify and say like, I need to deal with this. That brings me to where I'm kinda at now. Like, how did I get here? I still cry a lot. I literally was crying like two days ago. Um, I still let myself feel, but like yesterday was one of those days I finally realized like, that is what you're supposed to do. Like, you're supposed to feel through it. Like, literally feel through it. You're supposed to cry in the morning, feel down, push through to go to the gym. If you don't go to the gym, that's fine. But that's what I'm starting to do to try to help. And can't hold you as cliche as they say. It's helping. Kind of. Because it's the one thing I can control. If I go in there, results have to come eventually, you know? And I'm realizing when it comes to a lot of things, we because we're always pushing this individualism that we don't realize how much certain things we need or we became dependent on at the end of the day. We need routine just as much as we need flow. Like, so I did all of that and I still felt like crap and someone triggered me at the Planet Fitness and y'all, your girl was going through it. I just couldn't get myself back together. Like, I got home, I was still annoyed. I just laid in the bed. And then, like, something hit me. 
and I forgot because I can't think about it right now because I'm trying to think also about what I'm about to look like in a little bit to go to Tierra Wax wake party. Yes, that's what we're getting ready for. Yeah, I know y'all was like, what are we getting ready for? But I basically knew in that moment when my day was able to get turned around that like, that's what all of this is about. This is what I have to keep my mind on. And I brought myself back to center and I'm like, the faster and the more I keep doing this, the better I get at this. Like, the more I let myself feel and I realize what it really means, the better I get, get at this. And that's all this stuff is about. That's all life is about. That's all everything is about. Like, I'm going to have my days, but it's still one day, one hour, one second at a time. So, if you want to know where I've been, that's kind of what I've been dealing with. I was basically depressed, but still moving. Depression has so many different things going on, and you don't even... It doesn't have just the one singular face. People see it all the time. Um, I'm still sifting through exactly what was going on. I think I'm learning more about myself and my own personal health. And I'm realizing certain things that I do is based on certain things and things like that. So digging deep into myself for sure has helped me come to terms with a lot of things and accept a lot of things. And I think that that's what life can really teach you and what we really need to take away from everything. So... I had to go through some things. I felt like I was at the bottom, but I'm finally feeling like I'm climbing back to the top and I'm going to float. So we're going to get cute. I'm wearing a pink wacky wig that's giving you 50 vibes and I'm going to put these glasses on and I'm going to rosy these cheeks. And then we're going to put on this outfit and head out. Just so y'all can see what I was cooking up. <laughs> Something like this, something like this. for four pumps and it still don't taste good mm, mm, mm. hey y'all so <clears throat> as you can tell i'm not really pleased with this but it was free so i'm not mad i also got a discounted hash brown from Dun um from uh what is this mcdonald's and it's just creeping me out because it still look right um okay whatever not even me I basically wanted them to really know that it's really important, you know, to me and just in general in regards to me as a worker. And that got me some good points. Like the, the interview went really well. And the surprise blessing that I was saying is like, I feel like today's my, in my last week of living here, I'm supposed to, you know, I would probably usually be stressed or whatever, but I have accepted that this is just a stepping stone to something new and better. And in accepting that this morning, one of the jobs that my dad had me apply to last week, basically reached out and asked to interview me on the 11th of April. And I was like, I didn't get any interviews. Like, the fact that I'm even having interview weeks, like, interview week is becoming my last week in my apartment, is already saying to me, like, you have to accept when them things don't align no more. This place ain't allowed me for some years now, if you want to be real. So, I'm just grateful that I'm seeing it, grateful that...